Welcome back to DeFi Tactics. Remember, this is not financial advice. Do not make any financial decisions based on my word alone. Always do your own research. With that said, today we're gonna to discuss how to wrap and delegate our votes to an FTSO signal provider through the Songbird Explorer. That way we don't have to rely on an interface or a user interface on a signal provider's website or through the Bifrost wallet. Let's get to it. As a disclaimer, this can get pretty technical. So if you have any reservations about doing this, go ahead and make sure that you are 100% ready to interact with the blockchain this way. I'm gonna go ahead on the left-hand side of the flaremetrics.io site and click view all. This is going to bring us to the FTSO list. If we go ahead and we sort through these, we can see that there's a lot of new FTSO signal providers. Some of these signal providers may not necessarily be on some of these user interfaces on the different signal provider websites. For instance, if we were to go to alphaoracle.io and open that into a new tab, and then we click the delegate at the top portion of the screen. Now scrolling down, you can see that if we want to delegate, we can delegate from a list of different signal providers. We do this by copying the address from this dropdown list, and we can see that on this dropdown list, there's only a fraction of the number of FTSO signal providers that are actually listed on the flaremetrics.io website. So if there's not some easy to use interface to delegate to some of these different signal providers, we're left with interacting with the blockchain ourselves. So as you can see, I've got the FTSO list sorted by reward rate for Epoch 8. So let's say we want to delegate some of our votes to Flare Oracle. They've got a decently high reward rate. They also have a lower fee than these other top earners. Well, if we click the link on the right-hand side to flareoracle.io, it brings us to their site. But you can see that they don't have a web app set up. Even though they're submitting price signals and they're earning FTSO rewards, there's not an easy to use interface for Flare Oracle. So how will we go about delegating our votes to them? Going back to the flaremetrics.io site, we can actually click on the name on the left-hand side of this list. This will bring us to an overview section where we can see the information put out there. One of the key things we want to highlight is the Songbird address for this FTSO signal provider. So now that we know where we're actually delegating our votes to, as in this Songbird address for the FTSO signal provider, we can go ahead and go to the Flare Songbird Explorer. As you can see, we're on the Songbird Explorer main site. So you might be asking, how do I wrap my Songbird and how do I delegate that Songbird to, in this instance, Flare Oracle. In the top right hand of the Songbird Explorer main site, we're gonna go ahead to the search bar and we are gonna type in WNAT. That's gonna pull up this contract right here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click that result. This brings us to the contracts page on the Songbird Explorer. You can see here on the top of this main body right here, we've got a whole bunch of different tabs ranging from transactions to token transfers, et cetera, et cetera. Where we're interested in going is the right contract tab. Right here it says connected to, and that's my current address for this wallet. When you first get onto this site, you'll see that there'll be a little connect here button and you will click that and enter your password into the MetaMask extension in order to connect your wallet. So scrolling down, we're interested in a couple functions of this contract. First function that we're interested in is actually wrapping our Songbird. That would be the function seven or the deposit function. As you can see here, it's asking for a value in Songbird or how many Songbird tokens we wanna to wrap. So we would enter the amount of Songbird tokens we wanna to wrap into this field here and we'd click right. So if we go up to the MetaMask extension, and we go to our assets, we see that I have 2.619 Songbird here. So let's wrap one Songbird. I'm gonna to go to, to function seven, also known as deposit, and I'm going to put in one Songbird. I'm then gonna click write. It's gonna ask for confirmation. I'm going to edit this gas fee down just a little bit, so that way it's a little lower. I'm gonna click save, confirm, and it's gonna wait for confirmation. As you can see, it pulled up a success, so I can go ahead and I can click OK. Now going back up to the MetaMask wallet, I go to Assets, 
And as you can see, I've now got 1.532 and some change songbird, and my rap songbird total has increased to 113. If you're getting anything out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button and left me a comment in the comment section below. So now that I've got that songbird wrapped, let's go ahead and actually delegate to Flare Oracle. So for this situation, let's delegate 50% of that wrapped songbird to Flare Oracle and then another 50% to Best FTSO. We're gonna go to the top left tab, back to the Flare Metrics site, and we're gonna go ahead and copy this songbird address for Flare Oracle. We're gonna go back to the WNAT contract and we're gonna go to function five. Function five is labeled as delegate. It's got two fields, the to address, as in which address we're delegating our votes to, and the underscore BIPS, in parentheses, a uint256. So what does that mean? Essentially, aside from all the technical jargon, this means that we need to enter in the percentage that we want to delegate to the different signal providers. Now, when we're entering our percentage in here, the percentage is going to be based off of 10,000. So what does that mean? This means that the number that we wanna put in here is going to be a percentage of say 10,000. In other words, if we wanna delegate 50% to Flare Oracles, we're gonna put the Flare Oracle Songbird address here in this field, and then in the BIPS field, we're going to put in 5,000 because 5,000 is 50% of 10,000. Imagine 10,000 is that 100%. So regardless of how many actual rap songbird we're delegating, we need to think of it as a percentage. The best way to learn is to learn by example. So for function five or the delegate function, we're gonna go ahead and paste the songbird address for the Flare Oracle signal provider. And then since we wanna delegate 50%, we're gonna go ahead and enter 5,000. So since we're delegating 50%, we need to enter 5,000. If we wanted to delegate 100%, we would input 10,000 into this field. If we wanted to delegate 20%, we would put in 2,000 into this field. It's all based on a percentage of that 10,000, not how many songbird or rap songbird you actually have. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click right. We're gonna confirm the transaction. It's gonna to wait to confirm. And we've got a success. So going back to the Flare metric site, we're gonna go back to the FTSO provider list. We're gonna go and find, we'll say best FTSO, wherever that is. Click that. And we're gonna select the Songbird address to copy it. We're then gonna go back to the Songbird Explorer and we're gonna select all and then delete this address and input the best FTSO address. Since we're delegating 50%, we're gonna leave that 5,000 in the second field and we're gonna go ahead and click right. It's gonna ask for us to confirm. We're gonna confirm and it's gonna to wait to process the transaction. We've got a success, so we click okay. So now I've got 50% delegated to Flare Oracle and 50% delegated to best FTSO. How can we actually confirm those delegations went through and that there's actually 50% delegated to each provider? The less technical way would be to go to, uh, let's say best FTSO. We're gonna go to best FTSO, to their delegation section. And as you can see at the top, we've got 50% delegated to best FTSO and 50% to another TSO or another signal provider. This shows that we successfully delegated 50% of the wrapped songbird to best FTSO and 50% to another signal provider. Now, if we wanted to get into the weeds of the actual blockchain and contract, we can go ahead and we can click the read contract section or tab. Now, when you're reading from a contract, it does not cost any gas. So we can interact with the blockchain and with the contract without having to pay any gas because we're just reading from the contract, we're not actually writing to the contract or making any changes, i.e. sending money, delegating, or sending Songbird, excuse me. So let's go ahead, we're gonna click the extension and we're gonna copy our address or our Songbird address. And we're going to go down to function seven, 
we are going to paste the address into this field and we're gonna click query. So what does this all mean? Well, this means that this is one address and this is another address that we have delegated to. And you can see in the BIPs section right here, we have delegated 5,000 or 50% because remember 10,000 would be considered 100%. We've delegated 50% to the first address and 50% to the second address. Now to go ahead and confirm that we actually did delegate to Best FTSO and Flare Oracle, we're gonna go ahead and compare this address and this address to the addresses listed on Flare Metrics. So I threw in a little split screen here so it's easier for us to look at. As you can see, we're on the Best FTSO info page on the Flare Metrics list on the left-hand side of the screen. We can see that the Songbird address for Best FTSO ends in 91DC. On the right hand side, we can see that the second address that we've delegated 50% to ends in 91DC. So we know that at least one of the delegations that we made are to Best FTSO. If we go back to the FTSO list and go back to Flare Oracle's info site, we can see that their Songbird address ends in 3266. Going back to the right-hand side of the screen, we can see that this first address right here ends in 3266. Now, if we go back to the right contract tab and we scroll down, we can go and actually undelegate our delegations. For example, say we wanted to change our delegators or we wanted to change the signal provider we're delegating to. Well, in order to do that, we can go to function 25, which is undelegate all. If we click right, and then we confirm the transaction, once we get a success, that means that we have undelegated all our votes and we can choose new signal providers. After we've undelegated, in order to ensure that we properly undelegated, we can go back to the read contract and we can go back down to function seven and we can copy and paste our address again, click query, and now you can see that under delegated addresses, there are no addresses listed. Additionally, under this next underscore BIPS, there is no percentage of delegations. So that about wraps it up for this video. Again, I just wanted to kind of show you how we can actually interact with the smart contracts using the Songbird Explorer in order to delegate and wrap our Songbird. Additionally, I dived into how we can kind of read the contract in order to confirm that we actually made our delegations. As always, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. We'll catch you next time on DeFi Tactics. So if there's not a handy dandy way to... Going back to the Flare Time Series Orc... This will show us an overview section of that data provider. And one of the key things we want to highlight is this section right here. And one of the key things we want to highlight is we're going to go to the top left tab. Now for the, as you can see on the left hand side, we're still on the best FTSO info page. And we can see that the songbird address ends in 5591 little Additionally, I kind of dived into how we can, as always, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice, remember?